This is it. This is it. Big dog about to take down some bitches. I mean, I'm, no offense, man. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. That's, that's a fucked up metaphor, man. Come on in here, man. The point is, man, your boy LD is about to become King LD. Yeah. Old school OG, new wave, big dog, sneaky motherfucking king of the castle OG. That's who you looking at. And you, you one of the nice of my round table. A she knife. And this here, this is some mythical motherfucking shit, man. Only in this version, the dragon driver, low rider. We bout to peel his bitch ass for it. And you know what? He ain't even no dragon. He's a bitch. And we gonna spin his beak so fast, he won't even know what hit him. You feel me? Damn, I should write these metaphors down. You boy a straight poet. Hey, you know my boy Benny? That's my boy Benny, man. He does the best work. Benny, what's happening, pimp? That boy go hard. Hey, look, man. If you like that old school shit, that real shit, and not that new school plastic bullshit, you know I'm talking about that Los Santos classic shit, man. The most beautiful work you've ever seen, then that's why he like me. Because I'm just like that. Classical. Beautiful and imperial as a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of lyrical, dude. Like Caesar, a writer and a fighter. Talking all this old school shit, look, the whole move relies on the fact that the ballers and the Vagos got a whole lot of OGs that care way too much about flossing their lowriders than they do about paying homage and secret respect to yours truly, you feel me? So we gonna show them bitch ass niggas the error of their ways. We gonna slowly and methodically re educate them punk motherfuckers. I mean, who don't love a lowrider? We all love lowriders, but uh, personally, I love me more. So with that being said, we gonna confuse the fuck out they ass. And assuming that you confused right now might mean we on the right track. You confused? Whatever, come on, just get moving. Look, lead a serious thinking to me, man. I know you can't think that fast. Years of smoking Sherman turned my brain to a Pentagon computer. Check this out, you gonna need some of your friends. You know I love you, but you gonna need some of your friends. Three should do. So go and hook that shit up. I'm gonna be right back. And don't you go changing on me. Don't you do that shit. <laughs> Damn, what's cracking, y'all? Man, I'm so glad you guys can make it. You know I love y'all, right? Hey, check this out, though. Is you down? I mean, speak now if ever holds your peace, man, because you be acting like a buster sometimes. Real shit. It's time, man. It's time to right some wrongs and to change history. Two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your Vago shit, and you gonna go spray some of them ballers. And the two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your baller shit and chip some Vagos today. It's cracking. And you know we about to kick off some pretty major beef in the city right now. You know I love beef, nigga. I'm telling you, I'm a beef terrier, nigga. I love that shit. And you know what? After all this shit is said and done, after all the mayhem, it's going to be one nigga stepping out of all the ashes on the tin knob. And that's going to be the tall, handsome motherfucker by the name of me on moving gang. Watch what I say. Hey, come here, man. Let me show you these hot-ass whips I got for y'all. We got y'all smoking fools in luxury. They ain't had nothing like that for us when we was coming up. Now, check it out. You two, y'all gonna get on your ballers tip and go find some Vagos and smoke they ass in this Chino right here. Yeah, boy, look at that fly-ass motherfucker. That's all engine. You can smoke some fools and get on. You feel me? Handle your business. And you two, I want you on your Vagos tip, right? And go straight down there to Covenant Ave in this Buccaneer right here. This motherfucker right here got plenty of get-up. Smoke them fools and get gone. You feel me? <laughs> I'm loving this shit. I'm loving this shit, man. Lamar's revolution. Leadership with a friendly face. I kind of feel like a gang-banging-ass cult leader. Like Jim Jones minus the fruit punch. Kill them fools, my son. Handle that shit. Love y'all niggas. Drums. 
Cause homie, I'll ride with you. Now go out and ride. Fools. Green light, nigga, get up there and clap them fools. 
gonna go out and pull some murders and cars like that. Ha! <laughs> Fools that know they working for the next big man. <laughs> Frank and G gonna be live and like a motherfucker when they find out this high intense gangster shit we done kicked off. We out here gang banging like it's 91. Niggas getting laid down left and right. Streets covered with blood. And in the end, the only one that survive is the lying sneaky motherfucker. And guess what? I plan on being that lying sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> That's leadership. I'm like a gangbang guru teaching you niggas the essentials to laying niggas down. You feel me? Hey, now go get you some rest, man. As a matter of fact, when you finish laying down, why don't you get you a nice little outfit for my coronation? Because we going places, people. Hey, go in there and check out that boy Benny. The boy's a magician.
So, first up, I should probably say, many can't do this on any old car. I only work on select makes and models. But the work speaks for itself. I'm always looking to expand, but this is where we're at for now. First step's getting it ready. We give you the basic build, and everything else can go on top. Can't do any of the other work without that rebuild. After that, it's whatever you like. Interior, exterior, pop in the hood, work in the engine, hydros, of course, opening the trunk, fitting it out. You'll have a low rider in no time. Sound good? Get it right from the list and come on back. We'll fix them too, but it's expensive. You don't want to get in no fender bender.